more adventures in sublimation. So I have these little, uh, gosh, I'm drawing a blank, little shims like you would use if you're framing up a door. And I was doing some research on a sublimation Facebook group and I saw some people saying, hey, I've used Minwax polyurethane on wood and successfully sublimated it. So I got a bunch of these shims. I don't remember why I bought them. I don't know how old they are. <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, they could have even been in my house when I bought it in 2007, 11 years ago. So a couple of variables. I know that this can of polyurethane has somehow been contaminated. Um, so it may not dry perfectly clear. I'm not using a white base. So, you know, the texture of the wood, the wood grain is gonna come through if this successfully sublimates. And the last variable would be that, since this wood is so old, it's very, very dry, it's gonna soak up a lot of this polyurethane. I'll probably need to go in and do three or four coats. Whereas if I were just doing something else, something I just bought that's fresh, and not super dry, I may only need, I don't know, two coats, maybe maybe one or two coats, right? So I'm gonna give this a shot. We will see how it comes out. And maybe if this is successful, and also the wood isn't perfectly flat. It's not sanded. I just grabbed it out of the little stack. So if this is successful, maybe I can start offering custom shapes out of wood or MDF or HDF coated with polyurethane and sublimated. Time will tell. All right, so it's a few days later. I'm coming back to this uh, polyester, polyurethane coated uh, shim that I was playing around with. Uh, it's actually three days later. It's Wednesday, August 8th. So all I'm doing is just making a simple blue to red uh, gradient on a rectangle in Corel. I'm just going to test this out and we'll see what happens. All right, so there we go. Sublimation transfer is printed. Blue to red. I'm going to try to line this up as best I can. It's going to be hard to see, especially doing it one-handed. I may have to stop the video. We'll see. Yeah, looks like it's on there decent enough for a test. 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Let's see what happens. All right, so obviously this is sort of a fail. Um, I actually stopped it after 30 seconds. Heard some sizzling, and that was the polyurethane melting onto the paper so apparently letting this sit outside for three days was uh not the answer but where it didn't melt the ink did transfer so is that a fail is that a win did it work i don't know i can't really since polyurethane didn't stick to the wood and melt it off I can't really say for sure. I guess I'll have to try something else. I don't know what that is, but I'll figure it out. Something neat to play around with, if nothing else. So, thanks for watching my adventures in sublimation. We'll see you again.